In this tutorial, we will look at how to control your lights using sets. Whether it's all lights, sync set, flow set, or individual lights, the Astera app makes it easy to program and control multiple lights. With all these various lights connected to the app, tap on the target icon and choose all lights. Then when you choose an effect, it will send it to all lights simultaneously. A sync set will synchronize effects to specific lights only. Tap on the plus button in the top right and choose sync set. Tap to add lights. You can tap the light bulb next to each light to see which one you are choosing. Here we chose four AX1s. Once the lights receive a set, you can now run a test pattern in the top right. Now go back and choose a target position for your set, where it will appear on your page. Now when you choose the set and pick an effect, it will only go to the lights that we chose. A flow set will stretch an effect over several lights in the order you choose. There are two ways to do this. The first way is by choosing the positions manually. Here we have two positions. Tap here to add the lights. Here we chose the two Titan tubes. Now move to position two and we'll choose the AX5. Again, you can run a test pattern to see it go from the tubes to the AX5. Now we go back and choose a target position for your flow and run the effect. The second way to assign the lights is automatically, but the name of the lights will determine the order. Here we chose the AX1s again so we get a warning about the lights already being in a set. This is covered in a separate video and we will link it in the description below. With our lights automatically assigned, choose a target position for your flow and run the effect. But notice that the pattern of the effect is in the order of the name of the lights. So now we want to rename our lights for clarity. To help with this, Tap on the light bulb to see which light you are renaming. Tap on the light and then tap on its name to change it. To make it easier, we will rename the lights 1 through 4. Now, when we automatically choose the lights, the numbers make it so that the lights are in a better order. Also, you can tap on the sliders and adjust things like fade and speed. Individual lights can be controlled independently as well. Here we chose the AX3 and ran the blue pulse effect. Next we select the AX1s. After assigning a target position, you need to deselect the AX3 so it continues to run its original effect.
Next, the Titans, and we will run them on a rainbow effect. And finally, the AX5. But now, because we have so many sets, the target will be placed on a second page. We hope that you found this information helpful. Please watch the rest of the videos in this series. And for more useful tips and assistance, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to all of our channels.